Welcome back, officers of Republics. Your course on the police chief, AP Gaines, for another episode of AP Gaines at night. It's just AP Gaines, but it's harder to see me because I still haven't replaced the light bulbs in my ceiling fan after a couple months of not having any light in my room. Um, we're 5.5 million GP. Surprisingly, our opponent in the championship round of our GAC was also 5.5 million GP. He went SLKR Rush into C. We went AP Gaines Approved Farming Guide, which makes sense because I'm AP Gaines, therefore of the people most likely to follow the AP Gains Approved Farming Guide. I'm one of them. Uh, let's quickly go into, and the reason I'm making this video, because actually I think it's pretty cool. Um, our opponent is basically exactly the same GP as us, which almost never happens, but occasionally when CG does a skill squish at, you know, whatever levels of Kyber and like it readjusts and moves people's, you know, moves people around a lot. You get about a week where you'll have even GP matchups before I have to go back to fighting 8 million GP accounts. So it was fun to see an opponent who went SLKR into C, plus his ships, if we're being honest, are much better than mine. Um, and he does a lot of stuff really well. And I just wanted to compare and contrast how the GAC went, what our accounts look like, to kind of show you a realistic ballpark of where you're going to be at 5.5 million following the AP Gains Proof Farming Guide, where you're going to be at 5.5 going like C, SLKR, SLKR, C, plus ships. Um, so we went JMK as our first GL post having our core eight teams. Of course, we have the tertiary teams after JMK. We went for a couple of the backbone teams as well as uh Jedi Knight Luke or JML in between these two, of course, ships in the early game, sorry, early game. You want more teams. That's the meta mid game. You want more ships. That's the meta late game. You want more money. That's the meta. So we obviously did go for the executor. We have two get two. he has as well. Uh, we have the executor. He also has an executor. His, th these three fleets are maxed for him mine are not maxed mine's oh pretty good very bad and then terrible but i have the capital ships relic which is what's kind of super important in fleets at least his chimera and empire fleets way better than mine and his finalizer is fully maxed relic and mine doesn't exist so he has a couple of really you know big advantages the one disadvantage he has is he has a lot less core teams i think he had five of the eight core teams and we had a couple more backbone teams. He had a couple of them, but his were higher relics, but we had more of them. So we were a little bit wider. Uh, let's pull up the GAC and kind of show like what happened and look at his account real quick. Um, again, it was very weird to not face someone 3 million GP more than me. RIP to you guys out there um, who, are, who are having those bad matchups. I got one week. It only took nine months, guys. I, I, hate, to, I hate to rub it in your face. But it only took nine months, but we finally got a matchup of equal GP. Um, we memed and dreamed. I think we did nine total solos on his team. Because um, just he placed okay stuff, but then the back wall is all garbage. We did a lot of solos. I actually am very disappointed. We had the two shot set up on the executor. And I needed one thing to not happen. And that exact thing happened, making the two shot impossible so i just backed out and called it quits but we got you know 70 plus banners against both of these fleets so we had a pretty efficient run except for when we just memed and dropped some battles on purpose because uh the big blue wall proved to be too much for him dropped against qui-gon dropped two against the titty dropped two against jmk and i think i think he went slkr beat gas one shot after that i'm fairly confident i reached out to him he didn't say much but SLKR, he went C here, killed Cat, went back in, killed Kenobi, but couldn't finish the job. Couldn't beat this, backed out twice, couldn't beat this, gave, didn't even attempt CLS. Um, we finally have a Gear 13 Relic Zero Malgus, finally. Um, so that got us a hold. But even if it died, it wouldn't have really made a difference in the GAC. It's just kind of there to be fun. Um, so all in all... Um, Equal GP, as we'll show, I'm 5.57. I think he is 5.562, so we're 8,000 GP off. His ships, like we said, are considerably stronger than mine. Luckily, ships didn't really come into play, but as you see here, he went SLKRC instead of AP as approved. He has one, two, three, four, five, six of the eight core teams missing some bounty hunters or no he's not missing bounty hunters he's missing cls and gas which are two of the most important core eight teams obviously cls being the first of the core eight you get darth vader's technically the first because it's basically vader empire but 
Of the ones that require more than one character, CLS is the first, Gas is the last that you get in order, but they're two of the most important, so that definitely hindered him a lot. Um, and then just the fact that a lot of the requirements for JML, JML gives you a backbone team in Jedi Knight Luke, plus some other solid stuff. Um, Kenobi gives you solid stuff for the Kiata Mundi team. That's why he struggled on my Kiata Mundi team. So I think the difference is we had a little bit more core eight and we had the better Galactic Legends. Like obviously JML and JMK are both better than SLKR and C. So we had the superior Galactic Legends. He had the superior ships. We had superior core eight. He had superior backbone because he has, you know, Relic Bam and we don't. But then I think, I think it literally, he even has Emphy's Nest, which is part of, you know, another backbone team. It, it, I think it literally came down to the requirements and the GLs that we went for, plus a couple of core teams are just that much better than the ones that he went for. So in a perfectly even matchup, 5.56 to 5.57, um, it just was in our favor. It, it, it simply came down to Galaxy of Heroes at the end of the day is entirely about farming guides right like unless you're in the top 200 which is very uncommon because 500,000 people log into this game a month if you're in the not top 200 if you're in the bottom 499,800 the game is entirely about what you farm right um and of course we have three currencies time money will to live if you've been playing for almost three years like me you're gonna have more stuff if you spend more money you're gonna have more stuff so those two come into account. And those are two that people always talk about. And of course, if you want to farm something for Will to Live, i.e. you want to farm something because you think the team is cool, you have fun with the team, you like it, whatever reason, like it's a video game, right? Like you're allowed to have fun. I find my fun from GAC wins and punching up to 8 million GP players and giving them the biznaz and the what's what um, and just totaling up all the total money they've spent and just like, ha, that was a waste. Um, that's where I find my fun. So that's my will to live factor. But if your guys' will to live factor is farming is Russian bam or whatever it may be, that's totally okay. Like you guys are obviously allowed to do that, but everything in this game is useful at something. It's just some things are more useful than others. And I just thought it was a nice exercise to see two very different farming guides kind of coming together at the exact same GP, the exact same point. All things even. I have a little bit of advantage in characters. He has a little bit of advantage in ships. Um, kind of sad I couldn't full clear him. I should have had it. I literally should have had it, but I just had the one thing that couldn't happen. I needed him to not mark one ship, and he marked that exact ship. It, it was just, it should have been a full clear, and I'm kind of embarrassed. But yeah, I just thought this was a fun experiment. I hope you guys are having a, um, what do you call it, a great day. I'm obviously not having a great day and i respect i think i appreciate all of you guys respecting my family's privacy um i will continue to upload one to two videos a day we'll probably stream as often as i can possibly do it 5 p.m pacific standard time is usually when we stream if we stream during the week on weekends we'll just stream whenever um but yeah save a piece save ap september try and get 25k subscribers if you guys want to subscribe because you've been enjoying stuff or you just want to support me that'd be awesome if you guys want to send this video to your guild to help farm subscribers for me so I can hit the magic 25000 to make my ego instantly bigger, that would also be awesome. But whatever it is you guys do, um, at the end of the day, this is kind of like the first video I've done since everything's happened. Um, Galaxy of Heroes is one thing, right? At the end of the day, Galaxy of Heroes, it's just a game. Um, no one really likes this game. It's it's all about the community, and you guys have been fantastic, and I, me and my family very much appreciate everything you guys have done and said for us. Um, I always end my videos by saying, as always, I love you, and I'll see you later. I'd like to take this time to say that again. As always, I love you, and I'll see you later, but I really do mean that. I appreciate you guys very much. I really do love you guys, and as always, I'll see you later. Fuck, that didn't work, but whatever. AP Gains, it wouldn't be an AP Gains video without me saying a bad word. Bye-bye.